After last episode, Harley finally got everything that she wanted, but I do have to ask this. Was it really everything that she wanted? Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to an all new Cross and Streams. As always, I'm your host, the real Gino, Gino Reynolds, and today we continue our look at the DC Universe's Harley Quinn series, this time episode 9, called A Seat at the Table. Uh, this episode pretty much leaves off right as the last episode left off, where we actually had a cliffhanger ending, and uh, Harley finally got into the Legion of Doom, but then of course she is confronted with the Joker, and this is the catalyst this entire episode. Uh, the way this episode works is Harley is brought in, they give her an office, they welcome her into the Legion of Doom, uh, but her friends, her crew, uh, they think they're getting their own offices as well, but they're actually sent down to the basement, which is where the goons go and the sidekicks go. Uh, and now, not only do they work for Harley, anybody can use them, which the big joke of the episode is Bane wants to use them for a mission. And in this series, Bane is just an, enti an entire joke. So, I mean, of course, he's the, as I mentioned before, he's the, the Dark Knight Rises Bane, right? So, uh, Bane wants to use them, and they're, of course, asking Harley to get us out of this. And she says, oh, no problem, I'll get you out of this. Uh, another part of the episode is Harley finally talks to Ivy and they work it out and she's like, she's like, look, I know I'm with the Legion of Doom now, but if you ever need me, I'm there. And Harley says, well, I do, or, uh, Ivy says, I do have this mission. Why don't we talk about it on Friday? We'll, we'll get coffee or whatever. And she says, fine. Uh, but in this episode, uh, there's a really great scene where, uh, the Legion of Doom is around the table. And by the way, I have to mention this about the Legion of Doom headquarters. I think it's hilarious that it's out in the middle or out in the public. It's not, it doesn't come up from the, uh, it doesn't come up from the swamp or anything. It, it looks like it, it's where the Hall of Justice would be. It's like right in the middle of the city. Where do you look for the bad guys? Well, they're all right there. Um, so I thought that was kind of funny that it's just right there in the public. Um, the Legion of Doom are having a meeting where they discuss their new plans and everything. And Joker is in the room and he says, I have this plan where a ta I'm going to build a tower. Uh, it's going to have a big TV inside of the mouth. Uh, he's going to put his face on it and there's going to be a TV and he's going to pop up on the TV. And he's like, I need $600 million or whatever. And everyone's like, oh, such a great idea. But Harley actually challenges him and says, I think you need to plan it better. She basically... Uh, just steps on his grapefruits in this meeting. And it's a very empowering moment for Harley, but you also know that the Joker is not going to take this too kindly. Uh, so the Joker asks Harley to go out for a drink and is like, and she's like, oh, we're going to end up getting back together, right? And he's like, no, it's just a work drink. Uh, so they do go out. The thing is, they go out on the same night that he's supposed to help Ivy. And she lies to Ivy and says, got caught up on Legion of Doom business, and I, I can't make it, can we reschedule? But, uh, so she stays out with Joker. Also, again, she tells her henchmen she's going to fix it. Uh, she's going to talk to, that's the only reason she went out with Joker, really, was to fix their problem. But the old feelings start to come out, and the Joker's really just playing her, and you know he is. And so... <laughs> They still have to go on Bane's mission, which leads to uh, King Shark getting really injured. He ends up in the hospital. I mean, they do play it off as a joke, uh, but he, he gets he gets injured, and there he's in the hospital. Uh, while the Joker and Harley are out, uh, they all of a sudden you see him on a yacht, and of course it turns out that they kidnapped the people on the yacht and took their meals, and when they make a comment, they throw them off. And of course, it's hilarious for the Joker. And... All of a sudden, Batman shows up, and we get a bit of a parallel to the first episode where uh, the Joker uh, used Harley to escape, and you think it's going to happen again, but he goes, no, I need you to come with me, and so of course, uh, she goes with him, and they go up in his helicopter, and they're flying away, and he starts to kiss her, and they start to make out, 
but then Batman shows up again in the Batwing, and he had told her, I, you know, I need you. And she goes, I thought you were going to leave me there. And he goes, no, because I need you for this. And he kicks her out of the helicopter so Batman would be distracted and he could get away. So, of course, you knew that he was going to play her again. And he did it again. And she stood up her friends. Uh, she didn't help her friends get out of the mission with Bane. And someone got hurt. Uh, and all of them find out about... Uh, she shows up at the hospital after she's been defeated, right? And she shows up at the hospital like nothing had happened. But on the news, uh, they showed a story where are the Joker and Harley back together again. And there's someone that had somehow got video of them kissing in the helicopter. So they all know where she's been. And all of them uh, leave. Well, King Shark doesn't. He says, "If when I can leave, you better believe I'm out of the group. Everyone else leaves. And Ivy says, I'm going to go on this mission by myself, which is to take out this... Uh, this this company that is like destroying the environment um, and so she goes I'm going to do this on my own and of course this leaves Harley uh, just all alone she's in the hospital you can tell she's pretty broken and the last thing we see is Ivy going on this mission on her own but it seems like this company was waiting for her uh, they set a trap for her and now she has been uh, either captured and or, you never know, possibly killed by this group. Uh, and again, we get left with another cliffhanger ending. And I, I gotta say, I like these cliffhanger endings because it gets you invested in the next episode. It's not just, you know, something... I mean, all the episodes led into the other ones, but they give you something to really hang on to, to look forward to next week. Um, I thought this was a pretty solid episode. I liked to uh, I mean, yes, it was silly at times. Uh, yes, they made fun of Bane a lot. Uh, the opening uh, welcome video for the Legion of Doom was pretty funny. Uh, it leads to, uh, we see that Dr. Psycho uh, not only likes to say, see you next Tuesday, he also apparently uh, makes race jokes too, because uh, in the video in the background of Lex Luthor talking, you have um, Black Manta and him talking, and Black Manta picks him up and throws him up against the wall. And they're like, what did you say to him? He goes, it wasn't anything racist. Uh, so I don't know what he said, uh, but they're implying that he may or may not have said something, uh, a bit racist. Um, so that was pretty funny. Uh, so there is some good humor, uh, in the episode, but there's also some serious stuff too. Uh, when Batman, uh, saves Harley, uh, from falling, uh, out of the helicopter, you know, he basically looks at her as just like, you know, it's the same old, same old thing, right? And, and Harley you can tell she's just been defeated. It was a solid episode. I really enjoyed this one and it really makes me look forward to the next one because you know that if, uh, if Ivy is captured or worse off killed by this group, Harley is going to go nuts on them and it should be really interesting. Uh, so yeah, I'm really, I'm still really digging this series. It took a little to get started, but once they start really getting you, into these characters, uh, it's, it's really good to watch. I'm not going to say it's a perfect series and there's not times they don't just rely on their M rating, but, uh, all in all this, I'm really enjoying the story. So yeah, I really like this episode called a seat at the table. That's going to be all for this edition of cross and streams. If you like what you've heard here, please subscribe to the real Gino YouTube channel. Like this video. And you have anything to say about episode nine of the Harley Quinn series, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below until next time. I'm your host, the real Gino, Gino Reynolds. See you later, puddins.